Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you back to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. What an exciting year we had in 2013. And I'll tell you, the excitement couldn't have been better from the tips that you all generated, leading to numerous closures in many cases. From our viewers out there identifying tattoos on the back of people's necks, to those of you who identified suspects in serious cases. Welcome to 2014 and Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. The first person we're profiling is Dylan Otto Necker. While starting the show with a fugitive, I really feel this is one guy we need to locate. Dylan Otto Necker. Necker is a 30-year-old white male who's a registered sex offender after being convicted of a third-degree sex offense in 2012. He later moved with the permission of his probation agent to relocate in Garrett County. He was charged in November with an assault second degree of a girlfriend where he punched her several times, choked her, and made threats to kill her. He then absconded. He is wanted in Queen Anne's County for a violation of probation and in Garrett County for a failure to notify of an address change. Neckers lived in Easton, Cambridge, and in Federalsburg in the past. He has relatives in Graysonville, Maryland. His last address was Brookville in Garrett County, and he was working in Morgantown, West Virginia. So take a good look at his pictures and his appearance. His appearance can be quite different. Neckers 5 foot 10 inches tall, weighs 140 pounds, has dark hair and blue eyes. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to contact local authorities or send us that anonymous tip. In 2012, Paul Brandon Starr was operating a consignment shop in Church Hill. The shop was called the Star Treasures. The victim in this case had placed five pieces of furniture there. Sideboard, two Chinese chairs, and two painted chairs valued at $3,900. When the store was closed abruptly, the victim contacted Mr. Starr to arrange the return of the items. Mr. Starr advised he would hold the furniture in a safe place until the victim could retrieve the items. Several attempts to get the furniture were made and eventually Starr admitted to selling the items and keeping the money. In September of 2012, an arrest warrant was issued for felony theft. Paul Starr's last known address was in Chestertown, but he since moved to possibly the Philadelphia area. Starr is a white male. Six foot, 250 pounds. He has red hair. Any information about him would be greatly appreciated. Recent profiled arrests. Richard Donald Bless, wanted for failing to appear on a theft charge located by Baltimore City Police Department on November 14, 2013. John Henry Gant, wanted for numerous warrants, turned himself into our office on December 2, 2013. Kiana Marie Yant, charged with possession of a controlled dangerous substance, arrested in Prince George's County on December 12, 2013. Franklin Dodd, wanted for burglary and protection order, was taken into custody in Talby County on December 30, 2013. This next person I want to give thanks to. Keith Audra Rich had an arrest warrant for him for a violation of probation. This young man did the right thing and should be an example to others. He contacted my office, made arrangements to turn himself in, and did so promptly after finding out that he was wanted. This warrant was served on January 6, 2014. And Keith, you did the right thing, and you are an example to others. George Sheridan Barney. In this case, the victim discovered several of her rings missing from her jewelry box. The victim also indicated that she had not experienced any break-ins, but had recently moved with the assistance of a moving company. The investigation, which was assisted by detectives in the Talbot County area, soon identified the suspect, George Barney, who was employed at the time as one of the movers. Further investigation revealed that Barney had a female acquaintance pawn the stolen items at a pawn shop near Rundle Mills in Anne Arundel County. An arrest warrant was soon issued on December 27, 2013. Barney is an African-American male, 33 years old, with a last known address on Brownsville Road near Centerville. Barney is 5 foot 10 inches tall, 160 pounds with a tattoo on his left shoulder. If you have any information about his whereabouts, please contact local authorities or let him know he needs to turn himself in and do the right thing. This next person was charged with a crime that we too often see in Queen Anne's County, and that's contractors acting without a license. 
John Lee King was charged with contempt of court after he failed to appear in court on February of 2006. His original charge was acting as a contractor without a license. King at the time had been living on Pear Tree Road in Chestertown, Queen Anne's County. He's now 48 years old, blonde hair and blue eyes. He's listed as 5 foot 10 inches tall and 190 pounds. He has several tattoos on both of his arms and a scar on his chest. Investigation has tracked King to numerous addresses in Tennessee and in Florida, but he now may be in the Newport News area of Virginia. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to contact authorities as soon as possible. And this is a reminder to those out there, please, when you have a contractor do work here in Queen Anne's County, it's so important to make sure that they're properly licensed and insured to do the repairs that you're requesting to be done. Janie Irene Spahn Coon. This is a stolen property case. Stolen property times can be difficult to track down. A diamond ring, an iPod, or GPS are often quite common, and we see those a lot. In this case, the stolen item is a manometer. A manometer is a brass pressure gauge from a submarine. The victim, after learning a family member had pawned it at a pawn shop in Dover, contacted the sheriff's office and charges were issued on a criminal summons. Numerous attempts to serve this criminal summons failed, an arrest warrant was eventually issued. The suspect is a white female. She's 36, 4 foot 10 inches tall, and weighs about 125 pounds. She also goes by Janie Spawn, Janie Coon, and Janie Berry. Now the warrant lists her address as C for Delaware, but it's believed that she's in the Erbia area of Ohio. If you have any information on her whereabouts, again, as I always say, your anonymous tip would greatly be appreciated. As always, it's so important to thank the viewer, but it's important to also thank those that support the Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. That's Queen Anne's County TV, the Queen Anne's County Commissioner, the staff at the Sheriff's Office, and you, the viewer. A special thanks as we enter in to Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted of 2014. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758. 0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.